class. Uh, welcome 11th grade B. This is a new class with you guys on the shirt class. Uh, we have the remote group and the presencial group. Mm -hmm. Today's class, today's class, what we have are the narrative tenses. Okay, and this is deeply connected to what we're doing, which is reading. Reading and writing are like um, the theory and the practice. And, and the objective of the unit is that you're going to write the story, any genre that you want. But first, we need to know kind of the basis, the transitions that we have in English. And for that, the narrative tenses will be our best friend. So today we're going to have like a bit of an introduction to the narrative tenses. Next week is going to be a deep practice. Deep practice. And uh, so today we're just going to have a look, like an overview of it. So first of all, I would like you, I won't say anything about the narrative tenses. I'm just going to show you a short story divided in three. I want you to help me complete the story with the correct tense that you think goes there. Let's have a look. This is a mystery story. Uh, if we have the time, we're going to listen to it at the end to see the correct thing. But meanwhile, help me out completing. Okay. So we have the following thing. You can see some gaps. We're going to complete it with the correct tense. Let's go. The story begins like this. Last night, home next to the river Thames, the river Thames, when something strange to me. It was late at night and I, a long and difficult day at work. Okay, what would you put here at the first one? Last night, I walked home next to the Thames when something strange. What would you put here? I mean, the verb is walk, obviously. Last night, I walked. Mm -hmm. Something a bit different, but in the past. I was walking. Yeah, good. I was walking. I was walking. I'm gonna change color so we don't get it confused. I'm gonna put a blue better. Okay. I was walking home next to the River Thames when uh, something strange. Now, Joe. No, it's the one that you mentioned. When something strange to me. Anyone? Happened. Happened, yeah when something happened to me. It was late and I, a very, no, a long and difficult day at work. Had. Uh, yeah, we have two options. Uh, had, had, or not to get confused, had, had, I'd had, or I had, I think both. I think the best one is this one. I'd had. I'd had a long day of work. There was a large full moon on the sky and everything, everything was quiet. I was tired and lonely and a few pints of beer in my local pub. Just have. Mm -hmm. Any idea? I just had. Yes, I agree. I just had. I just had a few pints of beer in my local pub. So I decided to stop by the riverside and look at the moon for a while. Okay, remember this. Okay, what we have here. Later. Uh, I'm going to explain why some tenses are like this. All right, let's continue. We have in more. Okay, I'm going to explain this one first because I need to erase it. What we have here, it's uh, past continuous. Okay. 
past continuous. We use past continuous. And as you can see here, all of them are past. The narrative tenses uh, only contemplate past tenses. So we're gonna, we're gonna be working with a lot of a range of past tenses. Past continuous, uh, in this case, uh, is working in two different ways. First is given the context of the story, the beginning. Last night I was working and this happened. And then we have a combination of something happening, working, and an interruption. The interruption is always the past simple. Okay, and also we have when, which is, which is an indicator of a past simple. So we have a past simple here, and here we have a past continuous. Then what we have here, and I was, it was late at night and I had a very long day work. This is a past perfect because we have had here and then we have a verb in PP, which is had again. And we know this past perfect because the past perfect is before the past simple. So it was late at night and I had had a long day at work. So this person had a long day at work before going home. So this person is now at home. So before that, before the past event of going home, uh, this person had had a long day and a difficult day at work. So we know that the past perfect is an action that comes before the past simple. Now, uh, you need to understand everything like a sequence. I was tired and lonely, and I just had a few pints of beer in my local pub. And I decided to stop by the riverside and look at the moon for a while. So this person was walking and before walking, again, this is a previous event. This person had had uh, a pint of beer. A pint is like a glass of beer, uh, a particular glass of beer, which is called like past perfect, okay? And also because we have just, and we use those with the perfect tenses, in this case, past perfect. They have that in mind. I'm going to erase the age. Okay, okay. So let's continue with the story. I'm going to try to help you out a bit more. Let's continue. So I sit on some steps very close to the water's edge and I looked up a big yellow moon and wondered if it, if it really was made of cheese. Okay. Here we continue with a past simple. What is a past simple here of sit? The past simple of, uh, of sit. Help? Sat? Yes, I sat. Thank you. I sat on some steps very close the water's edge and I looked up the big yellow moon and wondered if it was made of cheese. I felt very tired so I this is the next event so we continue with the past simple. When we have a sequence of, of actions I did this and that and that and next this everything is in past simple. So past simple of close close it yes Good people participating, very nice. So I closed, I closed my eyes and, uh, and after a few minutes, I sleep. This is the next event. So we have a sequence of events. Felt tired, so close my eyes, coma. Past simple of fall. Fail. I fell asleep, good. <clears throat> Sorry, I fell asleep. When I woke up, again, past simple, look, it's a sequence of events. Uh, the moon behind the cloud, and it was dark and cold. When I woke up, the moon, okay. Um, this person woke up, imagine, this is the past. Uh, before he woke up, the moon moved. So we have an action that is before the past simple. And this is past perfect, okay. What about this one? How do we put this in past perfect? Past perfect? Gonna help you out. 
And has moved. Oh, no, has. Ah, has. Ah. Yes, past perfect. Uh, has moved is present perfect. Present perfect, present simple, present continuous. No, 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 no. They are not narrative tenses, okay? They are not narrative tenses. When I woke up, the moon had moved behind the clouds and it was very dark and cold. La luna se había movido antes de que yo me despertara. Por eso es past perfect. Porque es un evento antes de un pasado simple. De que yo me despertara. Uh, the wind blow and an owl hood above a tree above me. Esto está ocurriendo. Estaba ocurriendo. Like context. It's giving a context to the situation. So for when we need a context, when we need actions going on, we go to the past continuous. Past continuous here. Blue. Past continuous. Was blowing. Yes, was blowing. Uh, the wind was blowing on an owl. Hoot. Okay, here we can we have two options uh, and an owl. So we have two actions happening at the same time. Past simple again. Was hooting. Uh, hoot is the sound that owls make. What's an owl? What's an Umbo. owl? Umbo. Okay, so owls, they hoot. Uh, the vocabulary of sounds of animals is really difficult. So it's too specific. Hoot is the sound that owls make. Above a tree, I rubbed my eyes like uh, and started to get up when suddenly, past simple, another event that cuts the action. When suddenly, splash, past simple. <clears throat> past simple of here. I heard. I heard, yes, I heard a splash. Okay, so we uh, have two uses in the past simple so far. Actions in sequence, this happened and that and blah, blah, blah. And also when we are cutting uh, an action in progress. Here, the wind was blowing and uh, the owl was hooting when I heard <clears throat> and broke my focus, broke my attention. I down on the water and so something so this is the next event so this is a past simple past simple here past simple help simple people ah sorry i didn't like check on the chat i felt no the verb is look ah thank you Dima. sorry i had the chat closed i looked down on the water and saw something something out of the water and moving towards me uh this we can say that uh these actions were simultaneous. Okay, simultaneous actions. Dos cosas ocurriendo al mismo tiempo. And when that happens, that is past continuous, past continuous. So past continuous here, something. And we have and. So and means like another thing at the same time. Uh, something. Past continuous. People. Past continuous. Okay, I'm going to help you. Something was coming out of the water and past continuous again. Uh, was moving. And was moving towards me. Venía hacia mí. Okay. Uh, something green and strange and ugly. It was a long green arm and it um, I think is a sequence, okay? And lo que hizo después. So this is past simple. 
Pass simple. Pass simple here, people. I'm going to help you. And stretched. Okay. And it's stretched, a tiro, out of the water to grab my leg. Um, I was so scared that I couldn't move. I'd be so scared in my life. So here we have an event previous to the one that we're talking about. So this should be. Uh, I've perfect. never been. I'd never been. Past perfect. I'd never been. Nunca había estado antes. Tan asustado. Entonces, en mi vida. Entonces, del momento que está hablando, aquí le agarraron la pierna. Antes de eso, nunca había estado. Entonces, past perfect. Un evento anterior. In my life. The cold green hand. Uh, past simple, because we're talking about a sequence of events. Past simple. Actually, we have two possibilities. Move it. Yeah, it could be moved or it could be was moving. I think uh, closer and closer. When suddenly uh, there was a there was a blue flash and the strange noise behind me. Someone onto the stairs next to me. Someone. This is the next action. So it's a sequence. Pass simple again. Jump. Jumped. The pronunciation. He wear strange clothes. I had a crazy look in his eye. Wear usually when we are using this um, this verb. Usually, not always. Um, it's a continuous action. You you wear the clothes in a progress. So it's uh, past continuous. Past continuous here. Past continuous. He was wearing. Good. Thanks, Joe. You came back. Uh, was wearing. Wearing was wearing strange clothes and he had a crazy look in his eyes. He shouted, Get back! And okay, so we have comma and or we have and, so that means the next action, past simple again, past simple. Pointed, what point? Pointed, pointed, it's past simple, no past continuous. Uh, she shouted, uh, get back and point. So he shouted one action, uh, puede ser coma o and, and pointed. Lo que viene después, secuencia, past simple. Uh, pointed and there was a bright flash and the monster hissed and disappeared. Hiss, when monsters hiss or cats or animals hiss, they make like, <laughs> or algo así, yeah, hiss. Cats, they usually hiss, like, they go away. Okay, uh, this is the last one. All right. I looked up the man. He looks strange, but kind. Uh, don't fall asleep by the river. There's a full, when there is a full moon, he said, the moon goblins will get you. Never heard of moon goblins before. So we are talking about a previous action in the life of this person. So we're talking about, uh, Past perfect. Past perfect here. Past perfect. Past perfect. I never heard. I'd never heard. I'd never heard. I'd never heard. I am Moon Goblin before. I didn't know what to do. Who are you? I asked him. You can call me the doctor. He said, I. Something else to say when he turned around and said, watch the stars at night and be careful with the full moon. Okay, so uh, here we have an action. We have two things. We have, I tried to think, um, something else, when. Uh, this could be uh, something like an action in progress with uh, interruption. This might be the interruption. Se dio vuelta y me dijo. So I think this is past continuous. Past continuous here. I was trying. I was trying. I was trying to think. Uh, uh, ah, thinking. No, I was trying. I was trying to think to something to say when he turned and said, "What's your style?" Blah blah blah. 
I was trying to understand what he meant when there was a there was another blue flash and I closed my eyes. When I opened them again, he go. So we are talking about an action before this one. Okay. He closed her eyes and before that, something had happened. So again, past perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect. He had gone. Thank you. And he had gone. As se había ido. I couldn't believe what uh, uh, what on earth were uh, Moon Goblins and who was the mysterious doctor. Why he had saved me. I was determined to find his answers to the strange questions. I stood up and I looked at the moon and quickly walked home. So I couldn't believe what I couldn't believe now what before past perfect. Past perfect. When, what had happened? What had happened, yes. It's very strange, but what had happened? What had happened? Lo que había ocurrido. O sea, no podía creer lo que había ocurrido. Antes de que yo lo podía creer, todo lo que había pasado había ocurrido. I couldn't believe what had happened. And that's it. That's the mystery story. So, people, as you can see here, I'm not going to take more of your time. So, as you can see here, what we're doing is we are working on a timeline and we used in this story the most common narrative tenses. We use the past simple, we use the past continuous, and we use the past perfect. Among the three, the most common in the narrative tenses is the past simple. The other two, they're going to appear in certain situations, very specific situations. So next class, be ready because we're going to see the details of these uh, narrative tenses and some others that also appear. And we're going to connect this narrative tenses to the journey of the hero, which is the next topic in our unit and from which you're going to have your evaluation. Okay, people. So it was a pleasure to see you today. Any questions? No, teacher. Okay. So we're going to be seeing this in detail next week. And we're going to practice a lot because this, is, this requires practice. And um, I will see you again tomorrow then. I mean, tomorrow, next week. Okay? Okay. Bye, teacher. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks Bye, for teacher. participating. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, teacher. Bye. Take care. Sí, 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 sí.